Sea's crazy crossroad. <laughs> What is going on everybody? It's Chris and I'm coming to you with another one of my crazy crossroads. We came out to the um, this abandoned bowling alley uh, the other night so we decided to come out and do a 30 minute challenge. So I'm out here doing mine. Um, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna go back into the woods and just try and hang out back there and see, <laughs> see what it's like to spend a half an hour living like someone who has to live that way um, all the time so I'm heading back there now once again guys the hood is for effect and effect only I'm trying to be cool I hope it's working but uh, here we go the one thing that got me about this place back here was that uh definitely heard things so I'm gonna go try and spend some time in the abandoned homeless shelter one thing guys I really 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 feel for the people that have to live this way I don't want anybody to think that in any way shape or form that <clears throat> I'm belittling people because of their lifestyle. I feel horrible. Okay, we entered in the back corner over here. So for me to hang out in these crazy woods is freaky because back at the front of the parking lot area, <clears throat> There is sort of like this small little tent city. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. It's another cool night, which I'm grateful for. Okay, here. You hear that? I hear voices, but sound definitely travels here, so it's hard to say. Hello? Thank <laughs> you. 
right, I'm deep. I'm getting deep, guys. <clears throat> I cannot see the way out. I can see the path. just so eerie walking through this little section here it definitely is better to walk through when you have a couple of buddies with you hello is anybody back here anybody need any help or anything anyone here bring my gloves tonight guys hear that so I am not going to um, pick anything up Till death do us part. <clears throat> Will you have me as your wife? I wish I had my gloves. <laughs> Cobwebs. <clears throat> Back here is where that marsh is, where the swamp area starts. You hear that? Okay, I'm going to lower the light a little bit. Give me just one second. Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm going to take this opportunity to talk to you guys about couple of things that have been going down it's dark it's pitch black out here Okay, so just wanted to give you guys a quick little update on some things going on. First off, my daughter Lainey is doing well. Um, she's been kicking butt with therapy. Um, she had a range of motion which was really good at about 70% during her therapy.
And now she has a range of motion of over 90%. So she's getting there. She still can't put any any pressure on her her foot. Um, okay, the wind just kicked up, so I got I think I freaked freak me out a little bit. So she's doing good. She's on the mend, and we're grateful for that. She has to be homeschooled, so that she actually has teachers come to the house to work with her. And she's doing really good. She's been getting good grades. It's just kind of a bummer. She's in her senior year, so not being in school for the past month, you know, you, you're missing out on a lot of the senior fun. But uh, this all happened. The accident happened during her homecoming week. So she got a little taste of that, but she didn't get to enjoy like the uh, dance and the game and all of that good stuff. So we're hoping that she's back on her feet because she really wanted to go to the prom. This she wanted to go to the prom this year. Um, her mother, my ex-wife, she finished about uh, with radiation to alleviate some of her chest pain and she's doing really well she had a week off of her chemo and she really appreciated that week she did very well she felt great she's gonna have a six month bout of chemo though before they consider any surgeries to hopefully reduce the size of her tumor And then it just stops. I'm rambling. I'm, I'm thinking of what, what I wanted to tell you guys, but I'm looking over my shoulder too. Okay. There's some noises back here. I'm gonna make my way around this way. I don't wanna go any further because that's where, right there where my light is shining. Straight ahead there. There, there is uh you can see how wet it is <clears throat> there's music Okay. Sounds like some grunting. I'd hate to encounter a wild uh, boar. Oh man. <laughs> okay. I'm good, I'm good, I'm halfway through this. Um, one more update. My father is doing is doing better. Um, if you didn't know, he was back in the hospital. He's been having bouts where he, where he's been falling. Um, so he's been in a rehab center, 
and hopefully we'll be out in a few days. They're trying to strengthen his legs. So, all in all, our problems are good. We're in good shape. Thank you again every, to everybody who's been um, praying and sending well wishes. This is not... I have a weird feeling that I'm being watched. So every time these palms rustle, it scares the living crap out of me. Okay, I'm almost at 20 minutes. <clears throat> and I'm not enjoying this. I'm not enjoying sitting here. I can't even think that people would stay back here and be able to close your eyes and have a restful night's sleep. Seems absolutely impossible. Plus the mosquitoes are kicking it up a notch too. I'm gonna make my way back to this. Oh. <sighs> my head's itching. It sounds like a uh, sounds like an animal. Definitely an animal back there. Whatever that was, was high in the tree.
Purposely being real quiet, guys, so we can hear things together. Because there were things that I heard on playback on the other video. Oh, man. That I didn't hear while I was, oh, while I was here. Sounds like some banging. So we're very close to a highway. So like I said, some of these noises that I'm hearing could be coming from cars, could be coming from the highway. You know, there's a lot of area for sound to travel here. But the rustling I don't know what that other noise was back there. That was from the woods, for sure. I'm getting eaten up like crazy right now. try something here guys I don't know if this is gonna work but I'm gonna stick the pod into this oh it's working just fine Oof. shopping cart I'll kind of show you how I did it after and I'm gonna just walk around see what we can find All right, so, oh, that's weird. I look upside down. There we go. I'm doing it. I'm getting through it. It's crazy. I do want to take a, a second here in this video to acknowledge the number. An unbelievable lady, uh, who's one of our one of our one of my subscribers, uh, Melody. Uh, Melody um, sent a. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen on my on my page the puppy that we we have. Um, it's one from one of our subscribers, Melody. Uh, thank you so much. Um, we actually have three dogs now. Um, our Boston Terrier Mookie is um, little Mookie Wilson for you Met fans out there. He's old. He's been having seizures. You know, he's getting up there and 
you know, I'm dreading the, the day that uh, he's no longer with us. And she was kind enough to, uh, to send us a puppy from Oklahoma. And um, we're so grateful. It's actually Amelia's first, first official dog. It's her responsibility, it's her baby. Um, and we've been having so much fun with her. She's such a little sweetheart. Um, so thank you so much. Uh, we're so grateful for you. Um, and you, you, you just gave us a gift that warms our heart, especially with all this crazy stuff going on. I know everybody has crazy stuff, guys. I'd just like to fill you in on what's going on with us um, while you watch these videos. But thank you again, Melody. It's the sweetest, sweetest thing. And we, uh, we love her to death, and we're going to give her a great home. I'm getting through the woods. I'm here. I always say I'd much rather be outside than inside a, an abandoned building with the unknown. I know, I know what's out here. It's either going to be some crazy people or some animals. Now, the animals will generally go the other way. They fear us more than we fear them. So uh, I'm, I'm good with that. It's very sad, very sad place to be. It's a great little stand here. Look at, look at, that, look at my stand, guys. It was awesome. All right, I'm gonna kind of wrap it up. I'm at, uh, what am I at? 27 minutes, so we did it. We made it through. Um, there's some there's some stuff back there I don't think it's haunted by any means which I'm okay with but there's some voices now the voices could be coming from anywhere but some of those voices sounded like they weren't too far off of where where we where where, where we were um, just sitting I mean I know that uh wow my head is getting eaten up. I know that um, while I was sitting there, that one noise was awfully close. So, I slowly make my way out of here. I wonder if this is for where I just was, private property. Well, maybe it's beyond the fence line here, over on that side. Wow. Some of those sound so clear. And I don't know if with the wind picking up here and there, if you guys are going to hear that. The fence line is... Oh, it's been knocked down back there. So people are going back that way as well. But the front side of this, I believe, leads to the tent city, so... Let me see what's behind this. Just more garbage you hear that all right guys I'm done this is gonna shut off in just a minute so I just want to say thank you to everybody um, for coming along with me once again all right guys sorry about that the camera shut off but I am uh, I'm done I'm out of here I made it sat through the woods got to see what it's like living in the woods for 30 minutes um, I can't imagine um, ever getting in a situation like that um, so my prayers and thoughts to all the people that have to live a life like that it's, it's just it's very sad very scary I can't even imagine that fear but uh, I am out of here guys please see everything down below